Hi guys, I'm Kayla with Artistic Religion. This is day five of the 10 day forgiveness challenge. So jumping right in, you're probably wondering like, what am I doing with my hand? Like, why is it up? So this is part of today's challenge. So remember on day one, how we wrote down what we're struggling to forgive. I want you to grab that piece of paper or your phone or whatever you put it down on. And I want you to hold it up to your forehead for 10 minutes. If you feel silly, you feel silly. If you cry, you cry. It's no big deal. Whatever you do, if you feel it, if you feel ridiculous or if you feel angry or if you feel nothing at all, it's totally fine. But I want you to hold this up, if you're able to, for 10 minutes. If you're not able to, I understand. But if you are, I want you to at least try. Hold it up. You feel ridiculous. I have my piece of paper for what I wrote down. And... I can already feel my arm. I've got my timer going. I feel weighted down. Does your arm feel tired? Will you feel relieved to put it down? Now think about the unforgiveness you've been carrying around for far longer than 10 minutes far longer. I'm carrying around this this piece of paper. This is at least 20 years old. Could you imagine having my arm up for 20 years? Could you imagine having your arm up for as long as you've been holding on to this unforgiveness? Could you imagine what that would feel like? It would be physically impossible to do all the blood would run out of your arm, your arm would be numb, you wouldn't be able to physically do it. You would be exhausted to even try. But we hold on. We hold on, we hold on, we hold on, we hold on. We hold on to unforgiveness. We don't let it go. We hold on to it. We carry it in our thoughts daily. We carry it with us everywhere we go. Are you not tired? Are you not tired? from carrying around this unforgiveness for years. I am tired. I am so tired of holding on to this. I am so tired of having unforgiveness in my heart towards my dad. I am so tired of it. And in a different video, I said that we need to be forgiving for things that we'll never receive apologies for. I will never receive an apology for the mean things that my dad has said because while it was a significant moment for me, it was insignificant for him. He probably would have no memory of it. And this is not something that I could go up to him and say, hey, I've been carrying on to this for so long. I've been carrying on to this for so long. Can you please give me an apology? I can't do that. I can't even tell him that I would forgive him because we need to come to terms with the fact that some people we can't go up to and and ask for our apology. Sometimes we can't go up to certain people and tell them that we've been holding on to these things. We can't do it. And in my case, I can't. And if he finds out, then so be it. But we need to have our own willpower to forgive. We need to have our own strength we need to have our own forgiveness we need to have our own free will to choose to forgive somebody who is not sorry or who has no I earthly idea that we've been carrying on to something for two decades two months two days we we need to choose for our own good to forgive to let it go to set ourselves free we need to choose it for our own good. You have the freedom to do it. It's not so much that you're, we're often so afraid to set the other person free. Like I said, we are setting ourselves free. I want to be free from this. I want to let this go. I don't want to have this anymore. I don't want to look at my dad a certain way. I don't want to feel anxiety when I see him because I feel like I have to tiptoe around him and be careful for what I say or what he'll say because it'll stick with me. You know, these are real things in our lives that we have to choose. And even, yes, I could have chosen a multitude of things to forgive. I could have chosen 
betrayals that have stayed with me. I could have chosen a whole lot of things to forgive, but I'm choosing this because this is the oldest. And I'm choosing this because this affects my daily life. I'm choosing this because this is someone I see all the time. I'm choosing this because I feel bad for not forgiving my dad. You know, this is real. This is real life. We need to choose to forgive. We need to choose. This is as raw as I could possibly be with you right now. You know, and this is an insignificant moment to somebody else, but this is a defining moment for me. As a child, my dad telling me that we weren't friends anymore has stuck with me and stuck with me and stuck with me. And yes, you might be picking a horrible moment to forgive, something that was devastating to forgive, a marriage that has ended, cheating, abuse. You could choose all of these things that are so much heavier than this, but... Or you could be picking something that is simple and light and still defining in your life, still a defining moment in your life. And either way, if this is super heavy or if this is super light, whatever you are choosing to forgive is your right to forgive. You have every right to choose something simple or something huge to forgive. Any which way you swing it, you need to forgive even if it's big or if it's little. And sometimes we feel silly for holding on to things that are simple, that are simple, but it's real to me and it's real to you. And this is something that I wanted to do. I wanted to give you a visual of how tired. I feel it in my arm. I feel it in my shoulder right now that my, my arm is sore. And that doesn't even compare to how I felt in my heart for years. And I know that you guys feel the same way, that you're tired, that you're so tired of carrying something that has been weighing you down, that has stuck in your mind for so long. So I wanted to do this because it was a visual of, of forgiveness and putting my arm down, I feel instant relief putting forgiveness down, you'll feel instant relief. And I'm not there yet, I'll be honest with you, I'm not there yet because I'm still in that sensitive feeling, but I do feel better, I do feel better. I do feel, I do feel better. I feel like I'm slowly but surely freeing myself and that's important. And that's important for you. It's important to free yourself. It's important to set yourself free from the things you've been carrying around for so long, for so incredibly long. And even if it's a day old, your arms would be tired, your heart's tired. Even if it's a day old, your heart's tired, your mind is tired, and we we need to give ourselves that break, that relief, that freedom to let it go. Set yourself free from whatever you are holding on to. If it's simple, but it was a defining moment to you, or if it is something that everybody could agree was awful, set yourself free because you can. It's as simple as choosing to, and choosing to as many times as you possibly need to. Unforgiveness can last a lifetime. I'm 27 years old and what I'm choosing to forgive is two decades, around about two decades old. And I'm challenging myself to let go of that hurt. This is a challenge for me. This is a challenge because so often I have chosen to be unforgiving. I have chosen to hold on to it. I have chosen to not let things go in my life. I have chosen to carry it with me everywhere I go a multitude of unforgiveness not not just this not just this this is things in general but I feel like if I can let this go because this is the oldest hurt that I can possibly think of maybe maybe I can start to let other things go let my other hurts let my betrayals let my 
more serious hurts that I have felt that I have been carrying around as well. Maybe I can let this go. Maybe I can let it all go. Maybe this is opening myself up to being a truly forgiving person. Verse of the day is Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Quote of the day, the willingness to forgive is a sign of spiritual and emotional maturity. It is one of the great virtues to which we should all aspire. Imagine a world filled with individuals willing both to apologize and accept an apology. Is there any problem that could not be solved among people who possessed the humility and largeness of spirit and soul to do either or both when needed? That is it for today's video. I hope that this, t this video was your aha moment, that you really saw the benefit of letting, letting things go, just letting things go. I hope you could see the benefit of that, that it is truly for your own good to forgive and let things go and let things die in the past where they are. To not dig it up, to not pick it back up, just to simply move forward in forgiveness. I hope that this, this video helped you guys and I hope that this was an aha moment. This was a groundbreaking moment that this was a step in the right direction for you. I hope all the good things for you. I hope that this opened your eyes. I hope that this opened your eyes because this was a moment for me. So I will see you tomorrow for day six of our 10 day forgiveness challenge. Be blessed. You guys have a wonderful day and move forward in forgiveness. I will see you tomorrow bright and early. Bye guys.